रियल टाइम क्वांटिटेटिव पीसीआर और इसको क्यू पीसीआर भी कहा जाता है एंड इट इज कॉमनली यूज्ड टू क्वांटिफाई द टारगेट सीक्वेंस इन द रिएक्शन मिक्सचर दैट वी कैन नो द द स्टार्टिंग क्वांटिटी ऑफ द बायोमॉलिक्यूल्स आर न्यूक्लिक एसिड लाइक द डीएनए सी डीएनए और are any molecules under certain circumstances it is advantageous or desirable that we must have the idea about the starting concentration of the nucleic acid ke agar starting concentration zyada hai template dna ki ya c dna ki ya rna ki to after particular cycle jo concentration hai wo bhi zyada ho so you can say that uh, there may be uh, a relationship between the initial quantity of the nucleic acid and that accumulate after particular number of cycle in the pcr reaction so we can use this criteria to calculate the amount of nucleic acid or dna that has accumulated after particular number of cycle so this approach to calculate the dna molecule after particular number of cycle was uh, first used by haiguchi and coworkers in early 1990s they use a chemical which is called as ethidium bromide if you remember ethidium bromide it is an intercalating agent it can intercalate between uh, the nucleic acid bases and after intercalation it can uh, even give the fluorescent so it is highly specific to bind with the double stranded dna molecule ye jo ethidium bromide hai ye double stranded dna molecule ke sath bind karti hai aur jab dna ke fragment synthesize hote hain after each pcr reaction to iski binding bhi saath saath increase hoti rehti hai और आफ्टर ईच साइकिल ऑफ द पीसीआर जो इसकी जो अमिशन है वो भी रिकॉर्ड होती रहती है जितनी ज़्यादा अमिशन होगी थिडियम ब्रोमाइड की या इस, इस इसकी फ्लोरिसेंस की तो उतना ही हम कह सकते हैं कि हर साइकिल के बाद डीएनए की जो कंसंट्रेशन है वो इंक्रीज कर गई है सो बाय प्लॉटिंग द फ्लोरिसेंस विद पर्टिकुलर नंबर ऑफ साइकल्स वी कैन कैलकुलेट the dna concentration in real time so as soon as the dna is replicated we can quantify it so because of this reason it is also called as real time quantitative pcr and this technique uh, it is uh, more satisfactory or suitable when we compare it with other techniques like uh, if all the cycles have been completed or the quantification of dna after the after the fixed number of cycles have been completed so over that technique this real time quantification it is more satisfactory at the same time uh, I, i would like to add one point that uh, this real time quantitative pcr sometimes students or some workers they can confuse it with rt or reverse transcriptase pcr but this is not the situation although rt pcr uh, it can also be used in the quantification of rna by using competitor rt pcr but this real time quantitative pcr it is only a primarily used to quantify the nucleic acid so as i told you that ethidium bromide was used initially to record the fluorescence as soon as the amplification of dna is there but it has certain disadvantages or limitation that it may be it can give fluorescence uh, for both specific or non specific molecules to overcome this problem uh, dna probes were used if you remember probes they are oligonucleotide fragments of nucleic acid that can be used to detect the target genes in the Uh, sample so in this case this dna probe it is 
labeled with two uh, dies a reported system at the five prime end of the probe fluorescent die it is attached and at three prime end quincher die is attached now what is the role of quincher at the three prime end of the probe so suppose if it is a probe at five prime end fluorescent die is there here quincher is there and quincher because of the cl close proximity with the uh, fluorescent dye it can absorb its radiation so that fluorescence it is not recorded now what is the mechanism uh, to generate the fluorescence as soon as the new fragment of dna they are generated during the pcr reaction the mechanism is that this probe will bind at least uh, uh, downstream of one of the primer if primer bind here it will bind downstream to one of the primer when dark polymerase will start its amplification the fluorescent dye it is cleaved as soon as it is cleaved it will record a fluorescence and with the subsequent amplification this rna probe it is also removed no quincher and now it is not in vicinity with the fluorescent dye so fluorescent dye at the three prime end after cleaving because of the nucleus activity of the dark dna polymerase this fluorescent dye it is removed and it will record its amplification after each pcr cycle so in this way more fluorescence the more the accumulated dna concentration so what uh, is the basic mechanism in case of quantitative pcr here in this diagram you can see that here primer at the three prime five prime end or three prime end with the template dna and probe it is binding here it is having a reporter system at five prime end and quincher at three prime end of the probe no if polymerization is there then what will happen this reporter die it is being removed by the nucleus activity of the system and in the next step here it is removed now it is free from the quincher it will record the fluorescence and complete polymerization is there so after each subsequent amplification one can say that the amount or the concentration of dna uh, it will increase it is the most satisfactory technique to quantify the dna uh, dna molecule so it can be combined with conventional thermal cyclic procedure so that we can introduce the fluorescent dye to develop the rt uh, pcr uh, so that we can uh, know the concentration of the dna molecule at a particular uh, step so this uh, technique that is rt pcr we can effectively use to uh, know the molecule concentration even in unknown sample and here we can generate the standard curve with known concentration of dna and then uh, the concentration of the dna molecule in unknown material it can also be calculated